third period, I had a 12 to three lead. I did a good job on my feet, built up nicely. And then he picked top in the third period. And it was kind of a bummer. It was uh, my junior year, I was going for my third state championship. And I pretty much spent the entire third period of that match like this. Okay, like freestyle. And uh, just because I was I was afraid to give up my wrist. You know, a little bit of this here and there, here and there. As soon as I got in trouble, I was down here. And I remember, I ended up winning. I won 12 to four. I didn't get away, obviously. Gave up the stall point. And then I, we they handed out the awards and stuff and I went up the stands. And uh, my dad was a good dude, man. You know, he taught me and my brother, like a lot, a lot of wrestling. Just a lot about life and stuff like that. His, his only problem, you know what I mean? He was glad that I won. Like his sticking point would be that when I went up in the stands, you know, was like, wow, you, you really want to go out like that in the third period? You know, because I kind of looked like a chump. And I give a lot of credit to the guy who was wrestling. He was really, really nasty on top. But um, that was kind of an that was kind of an indicator to come for my college career because I, I did struggle and I, I had a decent college career. But um, I think you know had I been better on the bottom, had I taken it a little more serious, and had I been a little bit more mentally tough, might have been able to do even a little bit better. Right. So I think a lot of what you're going to deal with on the bottom is just going to be um, mental toughness and, and confidence. Right. And at least that's that's how it went for me. Um, so, uh, I had to learn how to, one, okay, you pick down for a reason, right? And if you think about it philosophically a little bit, you know, if you think about it logically, the, 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 the score, the people who made the rules in wrestling, okay, the rules makers, they, they, they get one point for this game, okay? So when you think about it, theoretically, right, taking a guy down, they get two points, and taking a guy down should be harder than getting off the bottom, really. But, but for a lot of us, it's, it's not that way. You know what I mean? We're, we're better on our feet uh, than we are in the bottom. So, you know, consequently, we've got guys who want to want to go here a lot, right? And they, we get through high school, we're doing okay. Then we go to the next level, right? And you have to wrestle on the mat. You know, I mean, most of us, you know, probably 99% of guys are going to have to wrestle, um, have to wrestle on the mat. So, once again, you have to make sure that you're ready. Uh, the best way to do that, I for, for for me, it's to keep good positioning. Scotty had you guys doing things like this, okay, switchovers, um, right, things like that, moving around these slides, these slides, right? If you think about it, when a guy goes to break you down, um, you have voluntary and involuntary things that are happening, right? And that's just everything in your daily life, as far as, you know, um, your heartbeat, okay, that's involuntary. You don't, your brain doesn't tell your heart to beat, and then your heart beats, right? Okay, it just happens. Right? Things we do with our hands and feet, okay, that's voluntary. Our brain says, oh, put your hand over here. Hand, go over there, okay? Right? Foot, go over there. Right? Hey, go ahead, flat down. Let this guy crank on you. Right? That's essentially what you're doing. Okay, when you flatten out or you give a guy your wrist, your, your brain is telling your body to do that. Right? So what you have to do is you have to train your brain, train your mind, right? And that's not going to happen. And I, I told the group last week, and there's all kinds of, I got stories because I'm old, but I, I got these uh, big moments in my life. One was my junior year in, in college, in the round of 12 at the NCAA tournament, when my really, really tough opponent picked top going to the third period. The score was 0-0. Zero, zero. He picked top, and he beat me 8-0. Right? But I'll be, I'll be honest, when he picked top, I was like, oh. You know what I mean? So, but then the next year, the next year, my senior year, um, I uh, was in the same match against a good guy, good top guy, and I got away. Right, and I won that match. Right, but but I really learned, you know, how to how to get tough on the bottom. Right? Dude, that's it. That's it. Positioning, all right, and being tough. So when I go to do a stand up, okay, we'll go over a basic stand up. You're gonna do it the way you want, right? I like to do I like to do an outside leg, just kind of a slide pivot. It's not just a pivot, all right? I do slide my foot. You guys can see, I kind of slide my foot over here, okay? So here, I slide my foot over, and then I'm gonna do like a, a knee slide this way. I'm gonna change directions here. And take another little step. I'm moving away, but I'm still getting back pressure. My back, I'm pressuring back into it with my back while I'm moving away, because I'm making them chase me. And a lot of times when guys chase you, when they, they're gonna catch up to you and they're gonna push you. 
you know, it'd be like if we were running around this room right now, right? And, and, and um, say Luke's trying to check, Lucas is trying to ch catch me, and I'm running, 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 and I stop all of a sudden, and he runs into me, right? His momentum is going to push into me, right? And if we're doing that on the bottom position, and the guy's chasing me on the bottom, and he pushes into me, he's going to actually push me up to my feet. So that happens sometimes. Other times he doesn't. Other times he pulls you back. And that's when we have to maintain excellent position. All right? Um, so you stand up. The stand up that I like to do, okay, is basically, like I said, I'm going to pivot. I'm going I'm to push back into him. Oh, I like to line up with my elbows in like this. Okay? It's just another way of kind of closing windows. Right? Right here. So can't be like this, okay? You can't be like that, they're, they're not gonna let like you do that. But you can kind of close the windows here, you got the bent elbows, and you're ready to push, push off your arm. Okay, so you come here, so I'm going here, boom, right here. Now look, this, so even if I go forward like this, no big deal, I just slide, okay? I just slide, right here, I'm good. Elbows come here, elbows come here like this, all right? Hand control is important, it's very important, but the timing of it is important. All right, if I have my elbows out, I'm reaching for hands. See how my elbows are out? Okay, he has a lot of motion here. His, his hand can travel, right? And that's when he can catch my wrist. So I want to avoid that by staying here. Okay, I keep my elbows in like this. Then if Nate's trying to grab my wrist, okay, I'm not gonna let him grab it. As a matter of fact, now I have a hand control. Okay, now as Nate pushes into me, I'm gonna come right up to my feet, right here. Okay, and you're ready to cut off right here. I have his fingers. Okay, and I'm ready to cut. When you cut, you cut right back into your good um, stance. Right? Good wrestling position. Right? So I'm, I'm basically I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make an angle here. I'm gonna turn like this. Once again, making him chase me. Some guys don't like that, they like to come straight up, and that's okay. Especially if you're blazing fast and you can jump up to your feet and get up, that's okay. That wasn't me. Okay, I had to I had to make angles, bump the guy around, all right make different little things happen. So once again, I'm here, Nate's on top, okay? And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bump sideways here, pivot this knee, okay? I wanna take this arm away from me, okay? Right here. My elbows are key, guys. They're coming right here like this, okay? Elbows are in, and I'm ready to come up to my feet right now, okay? Put this in my pocket over here, and I'm ready to cut. Now, some guys like to get halfway up and hip heights. That's okay too, right? Um, but most of your coaches are gonna say, get up to your feet. Everybody wants to come up to their feet, and I agree with that, okay? I agree, if you get up to your feet, that's the way to go, right? But I got better and better at going to a sit position if you pulled me into that, and we'll go over that too. But right now, we're just gonna kind of focus on just coming up to your stand up, do the one you want. Some guys will actually do an inside leg stand. You'll, you'll stand up with this leg, okay, immediately. Instead of doing the pivot thing, instead of coming here, um, you'll just stand up like that. If you do that and it works, do it. I don't care, okay? Um, another quick little thing. Hey, get on. Uh, I feed it back. I never give a guy, I don't line up like this, okay? Because if I do that, he lines up second, right? I line up first, he lines up second. So if I line up with my foot out, then he's gonna, he can line up on the other side, right? He takes the things away from me. If I don't line up that way, I keep my, okay, keep my cards tight for a second, tight my best. Okay, so, one thing I may, I, you may want to winch your wiper just a little bit. Okay, winch the wiper, there's that little knee slide, little knee slide, my elbows are in, and I'm ready to come up. Okay, top. All right, so I like that little windshield wiper too. Is it the fastest stand up? No, it's not. Does it give you a really good angle? Yes. Does it make him chase you? Yes. Okay? I want him chasing me instead of thinking about how to pin me. Okay? He breaks me down flat. Now he's working on trying to pin me. Until he gets me broken down, he's not thinking about pinning me. He's thinking about running me down, holding me down. I want him chasing me. Okay? All right. We're going to work on that. I'm not going to say go. As long as you guys aren't dicking around, okay, if you go out and you're doing them back and forth, whatnot, it's cool. If we got a lot of guys that aren't doing it, then I'll just, you'll go with me. I'll say go. Okay? Alright, one, two.